Då ber jag att få presentera Lian Sachon. Han är vice ordförande i Ethnic Nationalities Council som är ett så att säga, council för alla nationaliteter, etniska nationaliteter i början. Och han är dessutom eh, ordförande i Shin National Council. Um, do I have to do this in English? No. So I will continue speaking Swedish. And if there is a problem, you can just ask, or you can also look in the program and get it translated. All right? So, Mr. Lian Sachon, welcome. Thanks. Uh, can I use this table? You can sit here. Okay. Or then. And, and, and when you are yeah. standing there, we will just move the microphone. Yeah, okay. sure. Uh, but do you don't you don't want to use the microphone? Uh, I can see that. I think so. Okay. Yes. Can okay. I sit here? Yes. Fine. Okay. Um. Uh, I don't know what language I'm going to use. Uh, maybe we mix Swedish, English, and Burmese, because uh, here is number of Burmese. I think majority are Burmese, and then most of us also understand Swedish. And but for me, uh, speaking Swedish is quite a problem. So please allow me to speak in English. And I would like to thank uh, the organizers, uh, Rolf, Henry, and all other uh, friends uh, who are organizing for us, the Burmese people here in Sweden. I think this is a very timely uh, event because uh, in Burma, we are now facing a lot of difficulties, a lot of problems, as you know. Yeah. Uh, because, uh, as you all know, our leader, the Aung San Suu Kyi, is now engaging hunger strike. Uh, I, we don't know exact news, and but the rumors claim that she is now, uh, you know, uh, on the, his her uh, two weeks of hunger strike. But uh, the the government uh, did not give us uh, a proper information, and then we don't exactly know. Uh, how is her health situations, and this is uh, we are praying for her, and uh, please remember in your prayer that uh, you know for her well-being. And to not be only the kuchi ma chonoro time bima to role ke ke si nere umma fin chonoro do san suci ya kusui sanga kan sanga pia nere lo chonoro cha ni yare na bima na palo si bi lo chonoro cha re na bima to ke to ni apa chonoro kuchi ba mu ya de ni to because uh, some of uh, my Burmese friends uh, doesn't understand, they do not understand English, so I have to translate myself into Burmese as well. You know, I'm working in the Thai Baba border in the jungle, so I don't know so much about how to handle this kind of modern techn techniques or something. <laughs> so please forgive me. And as you all know, uh, today's event uh, is uh, for... Uh, when I learned, I first learned about uh, the event, I thought it is a rather like academic discussion, so I prepared a paper which is rather... Um, Kind of academic papers on uh, the origin of the chins because I learned that how uh, this organization is mostly related with ethnic groups and then something. But now, I, when I come here, uh, I change my mind. Instead of talking about academic paper or presenting academic paper, I would rather like to focus on the current political situation in Burma. And I think this is more relevant in, uh, to what is going on right now in Burma. And particularly, uh, uh, I would like to focus on the Chin, uh, ethnic groups of where in the Chin state where the people are now uh, suffering the famine situations, food shortages, uh, which is a very, very severe situation. As you all know, uh, last uh, May, uh, we have uh, suffered, uh, the people of Burma have suffered 
uh, Cyclone Nargis, in which a million of people lost uh, their homes, uh, life, uh, livelihood, and then uh, thousands of thousands of people lost their life as well. So now compound with uh, these uh, Cyclone Nargis, in the Chin State, the famine situation is there. And then around 200,000 are now in this uh, without food, without shelter. And this is a very, very critical situation. And um, before I read about this, uh, uh, here we have we produce uh, we produce a report. The critical point: uh, food uh, scarcity and hunger in Burma's Chin State. And I can give you the copy of this uh, our report and how it's happening in Chin State. And I would like to give you also about uh, the background of uh, Burma. This is the map of Burma, and uh, Burma, as you all know, is multi-ethnic, multi-religious, uh, you know, multilingual, uh, very multi-country. Uh, as uh, you know, all ethnic groups, uh, many ethnic groups living together peacefully for many years. And here, I would like to give you. This is the map of Burma. This part is what we call is Aragon State. And this is Alcan State, and then uh, we also have a lot of history with these uh, people. And before colonial uh, period, uh, British annexed all these uh, contract, Burma, India, and uh, Pakistan, and all these regions. Uh, these people actually are uh, independent people before the colonial period. But Alcan Kingdom was uh, established, and then they had long, long history. And then this area actually is this lower Burma usually was. This is Mon State, but usually this area, Delta area, is where Mon, Grand, and the Burma live uh, side by side for many centuries. And then this is Chin State. I'm going to speak about the Chin State because here we have something, uh, the famine's uh, problem. And then this area is we call uh, Skyn Divisions, but in Skyn Division also there are many ethnic groups living together. This area particularly is Nagaland. And Naga, Naga people also uh, live not only in Burma, but also in India. Perhaps you know Nagaland state in India. So they are the same ethnic group. And then we did Chin also here in Chin state, and then here is Mizoram state in India, and in Bangladesh, a Chitkong Hill check in Bangladesh. We did Chin people, actually our homeland is divided into three countries when um, Burma, India, and Bangladesh uh, previously called East Pakistan got the independence after the Second World War. So unfortunately, my homeland is divided into three countries. One part becomes Chin State in Burma, uh, another part becomes Mizoram State in India, and uh, another part uh, is in Chitkong Hiltek, Bangladesh. And then this is Kachin State. And then the Kachin people also are living here. And actually this is, perhaps you know, the Swedish journalist, uh, Matil Lutna wrote about the land of Jade, uh, which is about the Kachin State, where we have a lot of uh, Jade and all kind of uh, places, stones and uh, rupees, everything. Very rich.